it's Marie from Secret About Box. We have a very interesting tutorial here. It's about some of the little features that you may or may not know about, namely desktop settings and other little window settings that are rather interesting. So I'm going to go into my finder and as you can see, I have my Mac HD icon there. Now, when you first install Mac OS El Capitan, which I'm running, I'm currently running the newest version, which is 10.11.1. You can get that free download in the App Store. And you'll notice that that Mac HD thing won't be visible. So if you're one of those types that, you know, you want to see it, you know, go to Preferences in your Finder menu, and here where it says General, you're going to click there, and it's Hard Disks. Now, I, now watch, when I click the, click this, it's gone. Now when I click it again, it's back. And there are other little things here, the external disks, like let's say you have your flash drive or you have an external hard drive, maybe time machine, CDs, DVDs, iPods, pretty self-explanatory, connected servers, again, another one like let's say you, you run your computer on servers, you can have those viewed. I don't, so that's why it's closed on my end. And then your new finder window, which would be like when you open a window, it'll come up with say like your home screen or your or your MacBook or your hard drive. And then got tags, which I don't use. I would think that would come in handy. Like let's say you have stuff for both excuse me, both work and your personal life, or you have photo, <coughs> excuse me, or you have photographs of different events, sidebar, which is when you have your finder window open, that little bar on the side, which has like all the different views, like let's say your, like your home folder, your HD folder, Google Drive, whatever the case may be. And advanced is basically, you know, show off file extensions, warn before changing, warn before emptying your trash. I like to keep all these checked because it just makes your life so much easier. So close out there and Another thing is in view, your view options, which is a little different. Like you could change your icon size, make it really big, make it really, really tiny. I like to go somewhere about there. And then grid spacing, like let's say you're, you're in that grid view on your window, you can have it as tight or as loose as you want it. Text size is very self-explanatory. As you can see, the more I go up, the more the Macintosh HD goes. I usually keep it at 12 because it's universal. Label position, you can have it on the bottom or on the right. Since I'm a Mac user from like way, way back, about 20 years, I like the bottom because it just reminds me of every Mac ever made. Then this is a neat feature. I saw this in El Capitan and I thought this is unusual. Show item info. Watch what happens when I click it. See it's giving me the info on my hard drive here. And, you know, I could go in and it'll give me right there 
too. I have it where I I keep the bottom bar and you know sort by. I always put date modified because it's just easier that way. Or kinds always is a good one. And that's pretty much your your view options. And yeah, you, know, you can sort it. Which I always go sort by date modified myself. Now there's another thing that I noticed on my computer, and that is the hard drive would go into a sleep mode. Well, it's annoying because I have to push the little power button on mine to get it to wake up. So in system preferences, if I can go in that real quick, under energy saver, you go in here and you see where it says put hard disks to sleep? You know, you can tick that off and just, it'll just do where it won't put your hard drive to sleep, it'll put your computer to sleep because I have that to where 10 minutes my computer goes to sleep. My display goes to sleep. Hard drive does not go to sleep. And whatever you do under power adapter, I would repeat the same in battery. Now slightly dim the display while on battery power. I have mine plugged in right now. I'm gonna unplug it and show you something. When you pull it, like I just did, it dims. I keep that on because you can always change it with the brightness controls on the keyboard. And that just works for me. And show battery status in menu bar, which is right here. I do that just because it's a lot better. You could tell what percentage it is and whatnot. Schedule is, you know, start when you start it up, when you wake it up. I don't use that because I'm one of those types where I power down every chance I'm not going to use it for a long time. And then of course come back here and right here where it says where it says trackpad you can have your trackpad gestures I keep it all by default but there was something that I found very interesting with El Capitan it's the whole thing where you could find your cursor. Now I was using accessibility to make my cursor size bigger because I could not see it. When you take your fingers and put it on your trackpad and just shake, it'll make it bigger. So like let's say you're typing away, you know, just shake it and Voila. Also, if anyone knows how to get rid of that notification thing that came up, let me know. Because that's jolly well annoying. <clears throat> so that's the El Capitan Basics. And I will have another tutorial coming up in, in the near future. I'm still working on some things. And I will see you again.